Gemini. Health and energy are much improved, better than last month. Though it would be nice to take it gently on the 15th and 16th as Mercury squares Pluto. Avoid any arguments or confrontations, both personally as well as professionally. Even from the 18th to 20th, spending more time with family is important. If you get through the past two months with your health intact, you will coast through the month ahead. You are still in a yearly pleasure peak and this is stronger than usual. Overall, this is a happy period. Enjoy your personal space and your creativity is going to be ultra strong during this month. Your love life is much improved over the past year since Saturn, though still in your 7th house, so serious committed love is still not advisable. But your love planet Jupiter is now in your 5th house of the rest, for the rest of the year, so there are plenty of non-serious love opportunities happening for you. Singles get the opportunity of meeting prospective marriage partners, but the weddings should be postponed. Next year is conducive to cementing relationships. Now since Saturn is there in the 7th house but Jupiter is there in the 5th house, this means do not take any serious decisions. But you must meet prospective people because the more people you meet, the more definite you will be what is the kind of a relationship you would spend the rest of your life with. Now in August, the planetary power shifted from the east to the social western sector. The planetary power now moves away from you rather than towards you for the next few months. So hopefully, I hope you had used your personal power to create your personal happiness. If you created well, then things will be pleasant now. If you didn't use your time well, then next year when the planets start to shift to the eastern sector again, you will be able to rectify the errors and make the necessary changes that time. Right now, you have to put others' demands and needs before your own. It's all about cultivating your grace and being compassionate, which will bring you more good than your personal abilities or personal initiative. Now, on the 23rd, the sun moves into your sixth house and this makes you a bit serious and work-oriented during this period. This is a very good time to achieve goals pertaining to your career or professional life. Your work ethics is much stronger than usual. It's a very nice period for job seekers. There'll be many opportune, opportune moments to get a job you desire. The career planet is still on an eclipse point all month. So career dramas are still happening. Neptune is retrograde, which adds to the melodrama. So focusing on home and family is better than career, especially when career is unclear at the moment. See, there is a time for everything, so utilize this time on your family, friends and your relationships. Thank you. For your best days, your stressful days, your honey days, your money days and your career days, please get into my website and get those important dates. And remember, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTubes because I am going to be following it up with some interesting things and important tips of how to know about yourself, which will be important to you for your life.